And action. Okay. Let's try this again one more time with feeling. Boy, I had a moment there. Anyway, uh, I, I'm up to the Revelation Staff, so a version of a dry staff, 5%, 50 IBUs. So I'm going to take a drink, and I'm going to breathe here. Without even reading yet, I'm going to tell you, get big, 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 big dark roasted malt notes right up top. Uh, you're getting hints of coffee and dark chocolate. But I'm gonna read what they say now. Lift the glass. Lift the glass. How do you do? I'm Dr. Beer Whisperer uh, of this dry stout. I'm tearing up and breathing the aroma of dark chocolate. Okay, it said dark chocolate, so I was right there. Uh, take a sip and feel the familiar warmth of roasted coffee. Okay, so far I'm right off because I said roasted coffee and dark chocolate. How about that? Sometimes I know what I'm doing. Okay. Goes down smooth. A lighter body than your average style. Yeah, the body is a little thin. Uh, your average style. This one makes this one a house favorite. Anyway, yeah, it is a little lighter. Not too light where you don't know you're drinking a step. Yeah, it's it's a real big, uh, real big body in our track. Actually, and the uh, body isn't heavy. You know, a lot of people are quite stout, so I can get us to think they're drinking motor oil. No, it's not thick at all. But the flavors are big, big, big. They really are. It's perfect. Uh, again, uh, big roasted barley notes, a uh, big coffee, uh, big dark chocolate, a little bit of bitter dark chocolate right there at the end. It's absolutely beautiful. I went through this, whoo, <laughs> the six beer half were pretty quick. Um, all of them were, were very sessionable, though. Um, the Rod's Cream was 5%. Uh, the Colt was 4.5%. The Mild was 35 The Half Bison was 45 The only real change here was the, the Dry Hop IPA, which was 7%. Well, you know, it's, it's where you want IPA to be, anywhere between 6 7 or so. But yeah, it's, that's... And then the the Revelation Stout is five percent, so I, everything here is very sessionable. As you can see, as you can see, that was really tasty. Uh, yeah, it was, ooh, that, was, that was easy, man. Anyways, I'm coming to Beer Whisper. I think this is the first video I've ever done going through a sample completely, so there we go. How about that? Hey, I like that. So I'm going to be back. I think I'm going to have to have a glass of the IPA, though, because I need to do a full glass. That was the most complex of the beers that I had, so I'm going to have to do a full glass of the IPA. Yeah. And the bartender heard me, and he grabbed a glass. It's, it's a pleasure working with professionals. I'll tell you that right now. So anyway, I'll be back. I'm going to finish this up, and I'm going to do a whole video on just the IPA. So how do you do? Well, all right. So I screwed up when I was doing a video for the, the Tire Swing Dry Hopped IPA. So I had to order a full glass of it because I screwed it. Uh, so we got this one more time with feeling. But while I was stopped, I got a chance to talk to one of the owners and brewers here. Uh, and there were some changes to what I read earlier. I read that it was 7% 64 IBUs, uh, but it's actually about 6.5 64 IBUs. And it says here that it's uh, Cascade and Centennial Hops, and they've also added Falconer's Flight to that mix, which is why I was getting, I kept th thinking when and I was doing the video um, that I was getting something else other than what I typically get from Cascade and Centennials, and that makes sense that when he said Falconer's Flight, that just made perfect sense. Uh, I was going through these beers uh, when I was doing the sampler, and I had mentioned that, you know, I had the Rod's Cream Ale, which is 5%, 17 IBUs, the, the Burden Baby Mile, which is 3.5, 20 IBUs, uh, and the Coles, which was 4 and a half, 21 IBUs, they said, uh, the Hide and Seek, Hefeweizen, which is 4.5, 13.3 IBUs. Uh, and then their stout uh, is 5% 50 IBUs. And, and, and I mentioned during the videos that they were all very sessionable beers. And then talking to uh, Josh, so one of the owners and brewers here, 
that that is really what they're trying to do. They're trying to do. They're, they're not looking to do these crazy big beers that most craft brewers do these days. They want to stay very sessionable. So uh, that's kind of what they're doing here. So and it's very interesting. It's nice. Uh, uh, there's another brewery uh, in St. Louis that kind of does a similar thing. It's Civil Life Brewery. Again, I was talking to them a while back, and they're concentrating more on that session in the. Uh, of the beers, uh, you know, a lot of my British friends give me a hard time, or in American craft brewers in general, because it seems like Americans want to do big beers, and everybody knows that I'm a huge fan of the big beer, but it's nice to see some, uh, occasionally you'll come across a brewery like uh, like Civil Life in St. Louis, and, uh, you know, uh, the public house here in Rolla that are, are, are choosing Choosing, they're you know making a conscious decision to concentrate on session beers, and not only that, those I mean I, I had that Burden Baby Mild, their version of an English Mild, a style that I'm not crazy about at all. It's only three and a half percent, twenty IBUs, but it had nice flavor. I was impressed. It's one of the best of the style that I've ever had personally, and I was getting these big nutty, you know, hazelnut esque tones. It's a, it's a beautiful beer. And again, I mean, you could drink a beer like that all day long, three and a half percent. I mean, shoot, I mean, sometimes I pee higher than three and a half percent. I mean, it's just, it's just a, a great beer. Uh, so I'm gonna start with this IP. I'm gonna do a couple videos here. I want to follow uh, the, the progression. Uh, in fact, when he told me that they've actually tweaked it up a little bit, and it's actually about six and a half percent, that made sense because it didn't feel like seven percent. But the, but the balance is absolutely perfect on this. This is just a beautiful, easy drinking IPA. So I'm going to be back with some more on it. But I'm going to let it sit and warm up just a tad.